your blessings. Bravo and keep it up. Today, we are going to talk about bearing and how to solve bearing questions. So by the end of the lesson, you will be able to solve bearing questions with ease. I have some sample questions and I'm going to go through the steps with you. The first we have here is a ship sailed from Port R on a bearing of 65 degrees to Port S. And this sounds of 24 kilometers. It is sailed on a bearing of 155 degrees from Port S to Port Q. A bearing of 80 kilometers. Fine. Correct to one that's my place. The distance between R and Q. So I'm going to go through the steps with you. We use the vector approach in solving this question. You can use the graphical approach as well. But let's use the vector approach. So the first is express the movement as a column vector. So the first we have here is the movement from port R to port S in the direction of 65 degrees is given by the vector Rs is 54 kilometers and 65 degrees. So this is our distance and this is our direction. It is giving us vector Rs as 54 cos 25 degrees. There are 54 sign 25 degrees. How did we come about our answer? We maintain our distance and work on the direction. So we were given 65 degrees. We identify 65 degrees on our cardinal plane. The whole of this is 90 degrees. So taking 65 out of 90, you will be left with 25 degrees. You pick the angle that is very closer to the x axis. So 65 out of 90 is giving us 25 degrees. We pick 25 degrees. Why didn't we get negative or positive somewhere? We use a cast rule. C, A, S, C. As C says, only cost in this quadrant is positive. Therefore, sine and tan is negative in this quadrant. Then, our A states that all are positive. So, either cos, sine or tan. When it falls in the first quadrant, it's going to give you a positive sign. S is only sign is positive. So when the direction is falling in the fourth quadrant, you will get sign to be positive, the rest negative. Then T is only sign is positive. Cos and sign are negative. Good. So after getting your quadrants, you now present them here. It is falling in the first quadrant. And by the cash rule, all are positive. And therefore, our cost will be positive and our sign to will be positive. So we are going to get positive 54 cos 25 degrees. And positive 54 sign 25 degrees. By pointing this, it is giving us 48.94 and 22.82. Then the second one is the movement from port S to port Q in the direction of 155 degrees is given by the vector S Q as 80 kilometers and 155 degrees. How did we come about our answer here? We represent it on a cardinal plane, 155 degrees. And that is 
to give you better R theorem. We already know our vector R is as 48.94 and 22.82. And we also know our vector F cube as 33.81 and negative 72.50. After this together, we are getting 82.75 and negative 49.68. The question is find the distance. So, we now come the distance of the vector is the square root of f squared plus y squared. This is our x. We will take this one as our x and this as our y. So, we are going to get 82.75 all squared by substituting the values into our formula. So, 82.75 squared plus negative 49.68 all squared. Simplifying this, we will get square root of 9,315.66. And that is also giving us 95.52 kilometers. The question gave us a plot that friends.